Chris Mikowski for Emerging Civil War. Thanks so much for being with us. And I am here with my good friend, Meg Rowland. She is the executive director of ECW's California Bureau. And we are in Sacramento, California at the West Coast Civil War Roundtable Conference. And uh, Meg, uh, a lot of people don't realize there's actually a lot of Civil War history here there in California. There is. There's a lot of Civil War history here in California. One of the things I particularly like is how many officers who uh, went on to great careers in the Civil War were stationed along the West Coast and were called back to uh, Washington or Richmond. And uh, one of them was a, a kind of tall, red-headed fellow, Sh Sh Sherman, was that? Sherman, William something. Beloved in Georgia. Yes, uh, yeah. yes. But um, he worked in Monterey, which is our uh, was the Presidio in uh, the Central Coast area. And he had an office in the Presidio. And the office in the Presidio still has the same chair that uh, wasn't General Sherman, it's Captain Sherman. Captain Sherman. Captain Sherman, Captain Sherman. Yeah. Sherman um, sat in. And if you call ahead of time, which I do, <laughs> you can go sit in Sherman's chair. So one of my most inspiring things <laughs> to do is- You can channel the tall, rangy yes. Sherman. I can go sit in Sherman's chair. And so. what, I, what I think is ironic about that is he's a man known for not standing still. So to think of Sherman sitting in the first place is just a little hard <laughs> to wrap your, your head around. Because he was known for being in constant motion. And Grant, when the two of them would talk, would just kind of sit there and listen. And Sherman and Chris back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. um, a famous pair that was stationed out here together, probably best known in the movie Gettysburg. Um, mm -hmm. but, but Lou Armistead and Winfield Scott Hancock, yes. two bosom friends who were stationed out here, who then end up going back east. Um, Albert Sidney Johnston was stationed out here before he's recalled back out. And so a lot of those connections. Well, I know uh, in January, we usually go up to Fort Bragg, mm -hmm. named, of course, for Braxton Bragg. And uh, we always laugh about uh, somebody that little light <laughs> actually had a fort name for him. Yeah. But uh, they also have great uh, uh, independently brewed alcohol there. <laughs> One so, thing. Home of rescue and beer, I think. So. Talk about a guy with a Civil War era beard, not in the Civil War. Right? <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't realize there was a California regiment in the Union Army yes. that was actually led by Senator Edward Baker from Oregon, but they were volunteers scrounged up from the Philadelphia area and given the name California Regiment as a way to try to get the state of California to buy into the Union War effort. And they're best known for their work at Balls Bluff, where they're driven off the cliff with the rest of the Union <laughs> Army and into the that's Potomac California River. For and you. That's California. Right? <laughs> and Edward Baker kills during that action. The only sitting U.S. senator killed in action. That leads to the creation of the Joint Committee on the Conduct of the War, all tied back here to the California Regiment. Now, you mentioned the Presidio a few minutes ago. There are Civil War guys who then come back after the war to yes. serve in the Presidio. Well, uh, the Presidio is just a Spanish name for the, the courthouse, the main courthouse. And there are several Presidios down the coast. The San Francisco Presidio is still there. Um, does not function as a Presidio anymore. It's a military now. Um, and that's where the uh, uh, hospital's name for Dr. Letterman. Uh, but uh, General McDowell came back. And, uh, and you have a soft spot for Oh, McDowell. I do. I do. I do indeed. And uh, um, he says, I love these little, I, don't know, I always call them the B list, the, <laughs> the un, less than perfectly popular generals. And McDowell is certainly uh, one of them. And uh, just as um, Jonathan Letterman has no information at Fort Tejon, where he was stationed, before he was called back to. Uh, the East for the Civil War. There's no plaque or information at Fort Helen indicating he was there, father of Civil War medicine, my God. Um, McDowell, instead of having a beautiful crypt with war angels and, you know, <laughs> so cherub, so cherub, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, it's just a regular army tombstone, and his name is Ir Ir Irwin. Irwin. Yeah. Uh, and no, his name is Irvin. Irving. Ir Ir Irving. Irvin. Irvin. Yeah. Not with a G. Right. I R V I N. Anyway, it's misspelled on his on well, his we civil war right stuff. Right? Yeah. 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 
And I think somebody really ought to. Because he's Irvin and his tombstone says Irwin. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. he's Irvin. Tombstone says Irwin. And um, the first time I went up to the Presidio Cemetery, I went up to look at the graves of the, there were three men who were killed at Pacheco Pass, which is the, uh, a little skirmish that was held in uh, now Arizona, state of Arizona. And uh, those men were buried at Pacheco Pass and then later disinterred and reinterred at the Presidio. Uh, and when I think of the Presidio, I think of Emery Upton, who uh, probably best known for his work on May 10th at the Spotsylvania Courthouse. After the war, he comes back and is stationed at the Presidio. By that point, he has uh, had a very influential career in the United States Army, writes a very influential tactical manual, but his wife has died. He is suffering from intense migraines caused by a brain tumor. He's got severe depression. He ends up killing himself at his desk while stationed at the Presidio. A very tragic ending to a man who had a brilliant military career. Um, the last thing I want to ask you about, uh, Ambrose Pierce has a connection to California. Oh. One of the most brilliant <laughs> writers of the Civil War era. Yes, yes, and one, oh, certainly one of my favorites. Um, when we go up to the wine country to say, we always stay at the Ambrose Pierce house where, where he lived. He was a newspaper reporter and, uh, and lived in California and wrote about California. Um, and he got this kind of funky assignment to go to Mexico to write about uh, some kerfuffle there and disappeared. Never comes back? Never came back. Yeah. But you can stay at his house in his stead. Yes, yes. Okay. and I always did. Nice bed and breakfast. <laughs> Lots of Civil War history here in California. Uh, as evidenced by the number of roundtables that have come to this conference, we've got folks here from Nevada, talked to folks from Washington State, as well as all sort all across California itself. So some really great um, Civil War history here in the Golden State. <laughs> so Chris McCoskey, Meg Brolin, glad to have you with us here at Emerging Civil War.